Good morning, it's Mrs. Clark, and I'm really excited to be doing chapel today. I wanted to talk about something that I always look forward to doing every uh, year, every spring, and that's having a garden. Mrs. Turner and I have had a garden together the past couple of years, and we've enjoyed planting different plants and trying new things. And last year, Mrs. Mayo had some extra um, sunflower plants. And so we took them and we planted them. She had them and they had started and they had grown a little bit. And we planted it, them and I'm gonna show you what, how tall they grew. So they grew really tall. I was really excited about it. And I decided this year, I'm gonna try starting them from seeds instead of little plants and just try them from the very beginning up. So I went to buy some seeds a long time ago, several months ago. And I bought a pack of seeds. They're the mammoth ones, so hopefully they grow as big. And each little seed is just this big they're very small they're like a sunflower seed you'd shell and eat so I start off and I put them I'm going to show you all my um, seed starter so now this is where I grew, start my seeds I've started squash and sunflowers cucumbers lots of different flower plants and I have this lid on it and it gets water and helps kind of like the water cycle go I've got some okra growing in here right now but I planted these little sunflower seeds in each one of these cups. And then once they started to sprout, I took the soil and the sunflower seed and I planted them in my garden. And I will show you all how they're starting off now. So this is my garden. The sprinkler is on right now, but we're not gonna get wet. This is what these little seeds have started to turn into. So something that strikes me about it is not every seed goes at the same time. You can see how they're all different sizes and they're growing at all different rates. And you can't tell when they'll take off, but they all just kind of take off at different times. And I think they're all gonna get to be really high if I give them the water and they get the sun that they need, and if they have the space they need to grow. But over time, they're all gonna grow up into these beautiful, huge sunflowers that we can enjoy. So, I, the more I've been gardening and spending time outside, I realize that our ideas and the things we're trying to accomplish can be a lot like seeds. They can sometimes take off immediately and do so well, and sometimes they need a little extra time and attention. Um, so I hope during this time of change and having more time at home and more time to hopefully be creative, you will give your ideas um, the time and attention they need so that they can grow and be huge. Um, maybe you can start planting some seeds and seeing where they go. And I hope you all have a great day. Bye.